Mary Eliza Mahoney, R.N. 1845-1926 Mary Eliza Mahoney was the first African-American registered nurse in the United States. Her parents were freed slaves. Mary Eliza Mahoney was born in 1845 in Boston, Massachusetts. She had a dream of becoming a nurse. When she was a teenager, she started working at the New England Hospital for Women and Children. Mary worked as a janitor, cook, washerwoman, and a nurse's aide before her dream was fulfilled. At the age of 33, Mary finally enrolled in the New England Hospital for Women and Children Nursing School in 1878. The nursing program was a lot of work. Out of the 18 trainees who enrolled, nine continued with the program. Mary was one of the four to complete the program in 1879, making her the first African-American registered nurse in the United States. Even though Mary was a registered nurse, she still experienced discrimination. Most of her career was as a private nurse, where she could provide care to individuals. She received patients from wealthy white families and was known for how well she cared for her patients. In 1908, Mary co-founded the National Association of Colored Graduate Nurses, NACGN, and gave the opening speech at the NACGN First Convention. In later years, Mary was an active participant in the women's suffrage movement. When the 19th Amendment was passed, she was one of the first African-American women in Boston to register to vote. Sometimes when you are younger, you have an idea about what you want to do. That's how it was for Mary. What about you? Have you thought about what you want to do when you get older? <laughs>